you guys are really good and uh, I appreciate it you guys are really giving me some good feedback so clean your lymph system I can't advise you on whether you do the vaccines or not you have to, if you do them just detoxify your body really really good I've got cases where children have been vaccinated and immediately I don't care what this federal judge says immediately afterwards they noted ADD HD 8 uh, uh, AD uh, immediately I had one little baby gave a hep probably a loaded hep B back uh, I forget they gave it to her at seven months or, or five months or something some ridiculous thing she went into convulsions she went into liver failure her left eye took a wayward east I mean, uh, it took me a while to get the convulsions out of her and stuff, but then we regenerated her and she went on with her life. But imagine those children that don't get that fortunate uh, understanding of what, what went on and what had to do. Uh, I had a pediatrician call me one time. She said, do you believe in uh, vaccines? I said, hell no. And she says, well, I don't either. I believe in natural immunity. And I heard on the news they're going to have a one-time vaccine that will vaccinate you from the flu forever. The flu? You need cold and flu-like symptoms. My God, if you're that toxic, you need to have, you know, this is the uh, uh, consciousness of the medic. Don't have any symptoms. We don't want you to suffer. Pay us good. We don't want you to suffer in any way or shape or form. If you put it in there, you got to get it out. Sorry. What goes in has got to come out one way or another. We have to learn that. Karma. We have to pay for what we do. It's, yes, it's unconsciousness. Remember, there's no such thing as ignorance and law. Right. <laughs> uh, this is a good one. Testicular pain. Ow. Yeah, not good. You know, we got to get a fair amount of testicular cancer. Uh, not good. So they're saying you might have a little prostatitis. Well, maybe. But you can also have it in the testicles as well, just like a woman has it in the ovaries. The lymph system, everybody's just a bunch of cells everywhere with a lymph system. So you have a lymph system in your testicles just like women do in their ovaries. Just a bunch of cells in two major fluids. So you, this is kidney problems and you really want to get on this one because it's not fun to have that kind of cancer. <laughs> Had several cases like that. And you know what they do. <laughs> not good. Uh, so yeah, you're on a 50% raw, 100% vegan. Yeah, I'd kick it up another notch, you know, get on a uh, all fruit all day long and then a salad at night. Uh, do a lot of grapes. Uh, really start moving those kidneys. Do a couple kidney formulas. Uh, get yourself a lymphatic formula too. You're right there, you know, so really start pulling all that. If you do have prostatitis, you got to get that out of there too, man. It uh, really can create a, you know, a little bit of problems. So you want to get that out of there. Uh, of the most common cancers that walk in our door is prostate and breast. And that's about every day. So get that out of there. That pain shows you that you're very acidic and it's affecting the nerve and you don't want to do that. You could, yeah, they've already taken some scans so they would have seen a tumor if you had it. But that's still inflammation. Get that out of there. That's what prostatitis is, is inflammation in the prostate. But you could have inflammation in the testicles as well. So get that out of there before it causes more problems. Now, you were asking this uh, one lady, uh, uh, she was asking me about uh, uh, juicing and about concentrated sugar. Uh, simple sugar, though, I don't know, you know. I like my fruit juices, but boy, grape juice fasting is pretty strong. But it's cool when you have tumors because it'll help pull them out because grapes have so much other things. Fructose is a sweet sugar, but eat a piece of bread. You know, I mean, people don't realize how much concentrated sugar is in bread or in starch as opposed to fruit juice. But, you know, have at it. If, if a juice is too, uh, too much, too strong with you, cut it with apple or something, you know. But uh, I recommend eating fruits and uh, uh, juicing vegetables because we just don't have the digest of herb digestive tract and the stomachs that herbivores do. So it does make sense. Why did we invent the juice extractor in the first place? And obviously, we wanted to get rid of the fiber, the pulp. So, uh, y'all doing good. Y'all doing really good, the Bella. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Oh, this was important. Oh, yeah, the lady with lymphedema. Yes, 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 sweetheart. 
I think this is a lady, or maybe this is a man. It's hard for me to tell. Monica, I think it's a female. Uh, yeah, you're in kidney failure. I don't care what your blood work shows. Look at your creatinine, because in a while you're going to see that moving up toward one, and the closer to one, uh-uh, because then from one to two, and it's just a hop, skip, and jump up. You're not filtering your lymph system in your legs. It's not coming up and working through those kidneys. So this is real important that you get that out of there. You're absolutely right. This is lymphedema. This is the, excuse me, this is the kidney failure here. You're, and look at all the other things you're, you're talking to me about. You're talking to me about the adrenal glands, your candida symptoms, or you are gone. Good deal. Good deal. Yeah, always use that parasite M if you uh, to to do that. But yeah, you do want. I would use two kidney. I'd use kidney number one and kidney number two. Really hit those kidneys. Remember the adrenal glands controls the kidneys. So I would work with that. If you look back, let's see. Uh, somewhere I thought I was reading about your adrenals in here, but anyway, yeah, go down that way until your legs come uh, come back out of it. And maybe give yourself a break from standing so much and uh, uh, work, work yourself back out of there. I would do two kidneys, adrenal, two lymphatics, maybe a lymph, lymphatic one, lymph node one. You know, anything to pull, pull. Uh, but your kidneys have got to be able to, to filter that. And you'll see this over and over again. Even though the textbooks doesn't show the kidneys is filtering the lymph, they're, they're antiquated. Because it is kidney filtration of the lymph that's key, key, key. You'll see it every time and you're really seeing it in your case. But you're going to see a lot more of this coming because most of us uh, uh, either talking on this video or watching this video has kidney weakness at a certain degree. And that includes the adrenal glands. Uh, this gentleman is from, uh, I think it's a gentleman from Cleveland, Ohio. You know what? I... Uh, Tomorrow, Kathy's going to do a, a little short video on the school so you have an idea about our school. And I, like I said, I used to do this uh, every month, every two months, and every quarter, and I just kind of got burned out because I burn a lot of energy. Someone asked me, do I sleep? No, I don't sleep much. Uh, there was a time where I didn't sleep at all. It's hard when you're, you, you're, you're conscious all the time to lay the body down and be unconscious. I, I used to pop out all the time. Now I, I try to have that period where I do have some rest, but um, uh, I do burn the candle a lot because there's a lot going on here, and I'm very busy and uh, a lot going on. But uh, I don't mind. Uh, I, I'm immersed in, in the supreme being. I don't care. I, I, I enjoy the force that flows through me, and uh, it keeps and supports me, and that's all I all I really care about. So, uh, but she's going to talk to you about the school. I put a lot of energy into that school for you because I want you to know in five days how you can cure anything. And you guys, those are going to come to the school this time. We have people from all around the world. A lot of times we have medical doctors. Uh, we have chiropractors. We have a lot of massage therapists. A lot of nurses come. Uh, a lot of RNs, LPNs, we have a lot of healthcare practitioners, and then we have some lay people that come that just really want to get a good grip on it. And it's me, it's me for five days. Uh, Jennifer helps me out uh, with the botanical side of that. Uh, we do have one day of iridology, and she'll discuss that tomorrow a little bit with you. But um, it's just a fun thing, you know. Knowledge is, uh, is okay, but you want knowledge where it, uh, it, it is dealing with truth. Because knowledge is a forever thing. 